Hey traders, it's Jeffrey from Ninja Caters. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily trade Forex on NinjaTrader, how to get free Forex data to practice on, and how to open a Forex broker account when you're ready. Now, the first thing you need to know is that your current trading account, whether it's a self-funded account or any of the other prop firm accounts, it's only going to let you trade futures contracts. You can absolutely trade currency futures like the euro, which is the 6E, the Japanese yen, the 6J, and so on. But in order to trade any real currency pairs like the EUR USD, the euro dollar, or the USD JPI, the US dollar yen, you have to have an actual Forex data feed and Forex broker account. So, how do you start off and get Forex data? Well, there are several ways. You can actually download free end of the day data with kinetic and it's a kinetic connection that's already built into your Ninja Trader 8, okay? You can sign up and pay for a forex data feed at Kinetic for live real-time data, but that's really expensive. It's a 70 some odd dollar setup fee and then another 30 40 dollars for forex. So, for 120 130 a month just for data to practice on, that's way too much. If you do want real-time data when you're practicing, the, the more affordable one is with something called DTN IQ. Their data feed is just $45. Let's take a look at the different feeds. Let's see. So if you go to your connections in your control panel, you can see you can actually select kinetic end of day data for free and then just go to the tool section and uh, excuse me uh, yeah the tool section and click on historical data and you could download any pairs that you like and you can try and practice trading but as I said, if you really want to download and have real-time data because um, you've been working with this and you're starting to get comfortable, you can go to Kinetic and sign up there. Like I said, their startup fee is almost 80 bucks per month, and then you have to add Forex data. A better and uh, more affordable solution is with DTN IQ, which is IQfeed.net. It's only $47, $48 per month, and that'll give you real-time data. However, my top choice, my top pick is go to forex.com. Start off and open a demo account. When you click open an account, you can choose demo and then you'll get data. I believe you can keep that demo account for three months and then you can make a decision to open a live account. I think the minimum is $100 now to open a live Forex trading account, but that's going to be your best option if you'd like to do that. Getting real-time data feed for the $47, $48 bucks on DTN IQ. If you're trading on a different platform, that's a way to trade on your NinjaTrader um, charts, which I like because we can apply much better indicators than some of the other platforms that people are using, like MetaTrader. And then there are a few other brokers like Interactive Brokers and eSignal that if you happen to have an account with them, you can link to NinjaTrader and use the NT8 platform, but they have their own platforms and they're going to try to discourage you from that um, and putting an extra layer in between might slow things down. So you, the best way to go is uh, a Forex.com demo account and then a Forex.com live account um, if once you have a little bit more experience now once you have Forex data you can load a Forex chart just like any other chart okay so here I've already loaded a Forex chart it's just a simple chart with price lines some of the indicators that I use when uh, if any of you have seen or are in the fast track program and come to my Friday morning sessions these will be familiar to you but you can choose any um, uh, pair that you like and in this case then you just type in a pair and you've got double click on Forex and here we've got the EUR USD now as you know there are major pairs and minor pairs in Forex 
The seven major pairs are the EUR USD, the pound dollar, the dollar yen, the dollar Canadian, the Swiss franc dollar, the Australian dollar, US dollar, and the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. And then their minor pairs are there there are dozens of them okay if you uh, let me show you my forex trading account okay here are the major pairs australian dollar euro dollars pound okay just the ones this, the seven that i just mentioned but all the rest of these are the minor pairs that for whatever reason the news might suggest something or there's an interest rate change or the chart just looks great. It's so easy to monitor all the charts. I teach you how to do that with the market analyzer that you may want to look at the others. Plus, in a Forex account, you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum. You can trade the NASDAQ as an index um, on a Forex uh, uh, account, the uh, um, S&P, uh, the FTSE. All of these are tradable as well, including um, the oil uh, and gold uh, and, and silver as well, okay? So these are all tradable on Forex. Now, as I was saying, I strongly recommend that you use a market analyzer when you're trading Forex in NinjaTrader. And the main reason is, at a glance, you can see which pairs or which uh, uh, majors and minors you're looking at and you are interested in the bid ask spread okay i'm going to make another video um, and speak a little bit more in detail about what a spread what the spread is and what um pips are but the major difference between trading contracts in futures and lots in forex is the cost of the trade is the bid ask spread in forex as opposed to your contract fee, which might vary depending on whether or not you're using uh, which prop firm you're using or Ninja Trader yourself. And you can see the major pairs, um, the market's closed now, so there's quite a big, uh, uh, big spread. But usually, um, for example, the EURUSD is going to be the lowest, and that's just going to be 1.9 right now. But it can go down to under 1, and that's a pip. And uh, the majors can be quite, the minors can be quite high, okay? Look at this, 19 pips for the pound Australian dollar, just as an example. Now, let's talk a little bit about lots. As I said, the main difference between futures and Forex is that instead of trading contracts in futures, you're trading lots in Forex, okay? Now, the standard lot the trade size that institutions might take is 100,000 currency units. Then there's a mini lot, which is 10,000, a micro lot, which is 1,000, and a nano lot, which is 100. You can trade any of these sizes easily, and I'll show you how to set that up in the ATM, okay? The setup is a little bit different than trading in uh, futures, but it's just as easy, okay? And that's going to give you the right size for your risk tolerance and your account size. So if we take a look at the ATM for trading a Forex pair, let's click on edit, okay? I have this set up trading three standard lots. A standard lot is 100,000, but if I wanted to trade regular mini lots, I would just go to 10,000 each. And then just to set things up so that we'll put our stop loss. The stop losses can be the same, okay, because these are based in um, the, the currency amounts. So that's going to be okay, all right? And we can go ahead and trade that. And the order total order quantity we want to make sure matches up. Now, everything else is exactly the same. When you take your trade, you can set your charts up with whatever indicators you like to use. Um, the uh, uh, supply and demand, uh, standard deviation, support and resistance, uh, um, overbought, oversold. And then when you're ready to take a trade, let's say we want to go short now because it was over uh, overbought. At so let's go ahead and take that short. 
we'll get in at the market and as I said we have three targets each one at um, uh, a 10,000 currency value or currency units apart because we're trading in a mini lot we'll put our stop loss at 30 and we'll go ahead and just move these around to whatever our strategy is in our case we like to trade the standard deviation lines um, we don't see a lot of movement right now but uh, um, you can see if we really sacrificed this trade and got stopped out it probably it would only be a few bucks so trading in a mini lot is really the way to start out and then you can move up to regular standard lots um, whenever you're ready for it so everything else as I said before is exactly the same the indicators uh, that you put on the chart the way the chart moves um, and using the uh, chart trader and setting your targets and being able to move them around in real time so that's it traders download some Forex data open some charts practice taking some trades see what the day in Forex is like 8 a.m. is very busy when the New York office is open if you are not in the United States and you're in Europe remember <coughs> London is the busiest market and uh, London open at uh, 8 a.m. is going to be 3 a.m. Eastern time that's usually when some big trades happen take advantage of them the overlap between London and New York is when the highest volume is absolutely traded um, and if you have any questions uh, you've got my uh, email here on the chart feel free to shoot me an email if you are in the fast track program then we'll see you in the live sessions on Tuesday and Friday those are my sessions we have live sessions every single day um, and if you would uh, like any more information about that or any of these indicators or anything else about ninja caters feel free to get in touch all right good luck traders